Good evening, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Uh, brother Danny here. Um, I posted some videos of a brother, and I do believe he's a brother, John, brother uh, John Carlo. Um, I did not realize till I went to his actual channel and saw that he does sub to uh, Stephen Anderson, which I do consider he is a brother in Christ, but out of whack. I mean, I would not follow that guy. He's got the gospel right, and he even helped me through Lordship Salvation. However, guys, when you're calling someone that cannot be saved, a homosexual cannot be saved, and denying stuff like, uh, and I've seen some of the videos denying that the Holocaust and all that's a, a game, I, I, I just can't. Uh, I just want to apologize to you guys. I believe that John, Brother John has got uh, James 2 correct. That, you know, James 2 is not talking about uh, salvation from hell. It's talking about Christian living. Absolutely. Within context, if you read it, you know, it's all it's talking about. Uh, different, the same word has different connotations. Uh, saved from what? You got to ask yourself, and then in the context of Scripture, and we do read Scripture, uh, the clear Scriptures of salvation, when it says we're justified by faith alone in Christ alone, by grace are you saved. Ephesians two eight. Um, we don't go. We don't just read the Bible and reading parables. I mean, I would suggest if you read a parable, don't take it all way, all the way literally. And you read everything in light of Scripture, of the clear and main things when you read Scripture. And once again, through the eyes of grace. But I, I did post some of his videos, but I did not realize that um, he condones uh, Brother Stephen Anderson. Um, I, I really was torn about it, but I, I'm, I, with uh, great sorrow, I have to say I'm going to have to delete it. But I mean, the man's got the gospel right. He's got James 2 right. Eternal security. We are saved once and once and for all. It is an event. Salvation is. But uh, I don't know. I just, I guess I learned a lesson. You do your research before you, um, you know. I, and I realize that some, some videos it's okay to post even though we not, might not agree on all the subjects and even who they might um, back or even endorse. So, you know, I, I mean, as long as that's clear up front, but I just don't want anybody to, by curiosity, just saying, by curiosity, <clears throat> well, man, this guy's great. But then usually if you notice YouTube, if you see one video by that person, they'll have another video just right below it or the next play on the side and uh, before you know it, well, you know, a young Christian might be led away thinking, well, you know, Stephen Anderson's cool. I mean, he's cool, so maybe Stephen Anderson's cool. No, uh, Stephen Anderson does, I believe, have the gospel message right, but where he misses it is uh, putting a limitation on God's grace of who can be saved and who cannot be. God and the Lord Jesus Christ never did that. So, uh, anyway, guys, I just want to tell you, but he does have James 2 right, if you all have heard it, in the security of the believer. But there's a lot of great teachings on James 2 without having to um, depend on this guy. But I thought he taught it very well, very real, you know, and, uh, and uniquely in the way he could do it. I just, I, I would say pray for Brother John, that he gets away from that kind of teaching from the Steven Anderson thing. and But God bless you, brother, for teaching what you teach, but you never, I, I enjoyed the uh, way you explained James 2. If you read, if you hear this, Brother John Carlos, I mean, it's fantastic. And, um, and once saved, always saved. And it is the gospel, eternal life, everlasting life is the gospel that the Lord Jesus Christ promised us if we trust and put our trust on him, plus nothing else. The Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, that believeth on him that who sent him. You know, it's all wrapped together, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. But hey, you know, 
I made it, I kind of boo booed on that one before I, <laughs> but uh, there you go. I'm just saying, you guys, most of you guys get it, and probably what I'm saying, just what if somebody came that didn't know and, and saw that and said, well, that's a good teacher, and they get curious, and all of a sudden, before you know it, I'm not just saying that guy, I'm saying there's some teachers online. And they do have good message. They have the gospel right. But if you read, if you get, if a person that's um, new in the faith gets curious, they might end up following them. And for before you know it, that that person might be subscribed to Lordship Salvationists. We don't know. We got to be very careful. Got to be very careful of who we subscri subscribe to. Uh, with that said, God bless you. And once again, um, I love his message. But uh, who he subs to, man, not so much. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Very, uh, very disheartening, uh, to say the least. I didn't realize it. But my apologies. But he does have James 2 right. And eternal security is the part of the gospel. It's just, that's the beginning line. Once you get that, then you can grow by grace. And you, we're commanded to do that. Grow by grace. Grow in the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, God bless you. Amen, amen.